Hello, my friend. Welcome to the Daily Writer Podcast. Hey, I wanted to take a second to fill you in on some things that are happening here around the podcast. As you probably know, in addition to producing this show and also leading the Daily Writer community, I am a full-time ghostwriter. So the Daily Writer Podcast and the community really are more of a side gig for me. My The bulk of what I do every day and every week is ghostwriting books for entrepreneurs, business leaders, and others. And the past few months have been really busy for me. Unexpectedly so, I've got to say. And to be honest, my ghostwriting business has grown a lot faster than I expected. I basically expected to just kind of stay busy. And, and in fact, my, my main goal was just to replace my day job income and hope that I could feed my family on that. And, and I thought that was a good decision. But to be honest with you, it has grown a lot faster than I anticipated. And nobody is more surprised at that than I am just to be totally real with you. Well, I thought I was pretty well packed for the next few months. So I've got uh, several book projects I'm working on, and I'd kind of planned out the next few months of my, my work life. And then a few weeks ago, I got a cool new opportunity with a major publisher to collaborate with an author who had a very close relationship with a major figure in the world of entertainment. And this was a great opportunity that I could just not pass up. This opportunity came completely out of left field. And it was the result of some some relationships I had built. And it wasn't really completely a surprise, but this specific project was kind of a surprise in the sense that I had not anticipated on working on such a high profile book for a major publisher this fast in my ghostwriting career. So this sort of came out of left field a little bit. And to adjust for this book and the time needed to work on it, I am putting pause on creating new podcast episodes for the next few weeks while I focus on getting about half of this book drafted. And I'm going to be back on Monday, January the 3rd with new podcast episodes. Now, in the meantime, until then, we're going to be featuring best of episodes a few times a week, including solo episodes and some great interviews that maybe you have missed the last few Uh, the last few months or the last year or so. And because The Daily Writer is a daily podcast, there are many hundreds of episodes in the archives. So unless you religiously listen to The Daily Writer every single day, and there are some people who do that, and if you're one of my daily listeners, man, I just appreciate your time and attention so much. It honestly means the world to me that there are people who listen to this podcast every single day to kind of kick off their work day. And it, it just kind of blows my mind. And it is such a massive honor to be part of your, of your writing routine and, and part of your success as a writer. That really does mean the world to me. And, and I'm completely sincere when I say that. However, if you are uh, one of the listeners who has not listened to every single episode, uh, chances are pretty high that there are some great episodes that you've missed over the last year or maybe even the last few years. So you don't need to go searching the archives for these best of episodes. We're going to be sharing the best of the Daily Writer podcast here over the next few weeks. And again, that includes solo episodes as well as interviews. Now, I'm always looking for the teaching opportunity in every situation, and this one is no exception. And here's what I want you to take away from this experience. You know, sometimes you've got to hit pause on good things so that you can focus on other priorities for just a bit. And that is totally okay. I'm going to be totally honest with you. You know, and and if you've listened to this podcast any length of time, you know that I always try to be just really upfront and totally honest with you. My life is basically an open book. And to be honest with you, I really wrestled with whether to put this podcast on pause for a few weeks because I'm so dedicated to it and I love what I do with it so much. And I kind of rationalized in my mind, you know, here's some ways I could keep this going. Maybe I could just do like one new episode a week or something. And I thought about that. And then I realized I've got to shuffle some things around at least for the next six weeks or so, so I can really focus some dedicated time and attention to this, uh, to this book project I'm working on, in addition to making lots of progress on the other clients that I've committed to as well. So I want you just to know that as you head into this home stretch here in the last few weeks of the year, when it's a busy time anyway for people, that it's okay for you to let some things go. It's okay for you to put some things on pause. You can't make everybody happy all the time, and you can't meet everybody's expectations of you. It just isn't possible unless you're able to somehow clone yourself, which I'm sure that technology exists out there somewhere, but I'm not sure it's something we want to be taking advantage of anytime soon necessarily. So for the sake of your sanity and your mental health, I encourage you to take a look at what you're committed to and evaluate what you're currently doing and see what you can pause or maybe even altogether eliminate 
so you can focus on your most important writing goals. You know, writing doesn't get done by itself. It doesn't happen by accident. The words aren't going to write themselves. Somebody has to create those words. Well, I guess unless you're using AI technology, but that's a whole different topic. So anyway, that's what's happening here around the podcast for the next few weeks. I so appreciate you listening. And I always want you to know that I am really, really grateful for you checking out the episode. Got some cool stuff coming up over the next few months. Uh, Got a couple of book projects of my own that I'm working on. In addition to getting in hot and heavy with the Daily Writer book that is coming out next October. And I'm super, super excited about that one. So this podcast has gone on about four and a half minutes longer than I intended. But hey, I'm a former college professor and pastor. What can I say? Sometimes I ramble a little bit. So thanks for checking out this short episode. And I will see you back here with new episodes on Monday, January the 3rd. Thanks so much for listening to today's episode. For more, you can visit us at dailywriterlife.com. Thanks, and I'll see you tomorrow.